everyone, Carson here, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you 15 tips for selecting the best website hosting service in 2021. Now, before we do get into this video, if you're, you know, if you don't really want to do all the research yourself, I've actually got my picks listed below, which I've already ran through all this information and much more and tested myself. So if you want a guaranteed good hosting provider, check out my links in the description because I also offer them at special discounts. And now let's get into the video. Now the first tip is to analyze the customer support beforehand. You always want very good customer support. You always want that support to be high quality and good response time. So always look into that before you get a website hosting plan with the company in question. Next up, always check the downtime. Website downtime is so important for SEO and for customer retention. So if you are looking for that, definitely check the downtime on any plans you go with. Next up, be skeptical with the reviews. Keep in mind that a lot of reviews on the internet are actually sponsored and paid for. So you always want to be skeptical with the reviews you're watching to make sure they're like me, which means they're unbiased and they provide honest reviews of the products they review. At number four, opt in for versatile hosting services. Never go for too small of a hosting company because if you're looking to expand, they might not be able to offer you the services you need and that can just be a hassle. Next up, always go for hosting services that offer super long trial periods, ideally. The longer the trial period that the hosting service offers, the better it's going to be for you because if it turns out you don't like it, you can always get your money back. At number six, make sure the hosting provider is very active in their updates. Make sure they're constantly updating their hosting service for you. If they're not updating it, it brings into question the validity and security of their hosting plans. At number seven, always try to opt in for a third party domain register. If you go for a third party domain register, you can actually buy domains and it'll allow you to switch the hosting provider you want at any time with next to zero hassle. Next up at number eight, if a hosting company ever mentions that they have unlimited hosting, you should be wary because only a few hosting providers can actually back up that claim. Most of them don't actually have that and they have ghost limits, which basically means that your hosting service will be throttled and limited the more resources you use. So keep that in mind. Number nine, of course, this is just a general idea, but always read the small print and understand the policy. Always understand, you know, what you're getting into when you go into a hosting provider. At number 10, check the backup services. Having backups of your data is absolutely essential for any website you host. And if you don't have backups, that can be very, very dangerous. So always make sure you're getting frequent backups with your web hosting provider. Next up at number 11, if you're not sure the features you want yet, always jot them down and write up a list of all the features you want before finding a web host because a lot of different web hosts specialize in different categories. So if you're looking for some specific features and you know what you want to look for, always write those down and brainstorm it so you have a good idea of what you want in your web host. At number 12, you can always look into going for a short term contract if you're not sure if you're gonna like your web hosting company. If you're not really sure about the hosting company, now obviously, like I said with my links in the description, you can guarantee that the hosting company is good, but if you're not sure about the one you picked, you can always go for a shorter contract and then opt out at any time. Next up at number 13, always be sure to check if your web host has black hole IP. It's a concept that's a bit advanced, but always look that up and see if there are any reviews about that happening with your host. At number 14, always have a PayPal account to pay with your service. Sometimes they'll actually continue to charge you even after you terminate your web hosting plan with a credit card. So if you pay with PayPal, you can always cancel your subscription via PayPal to guarantee that they're not going to continue charging you. And on number 15, the final point is always keep an eye on the prices because a lot of times companies will hide very expensive prices under cheap starter prices and then upsell you at a later date. This is never good. You're never wanting someone to upsell you at a later date. And although a lot of hosting companies do do this and they're not bad hosting companies, 
you always want to keep in mind the upsell price when you look to buy the company. For example, a company like Hostinger, even though they have a slightly higher price, a slightly higher renewal fee, it's still incredibly cheap and it's still the cheapest on the market. So that isn't really a big deal, but some companies will go from some of the cheapest on the market to as soon as you renew being some of the most expensive. So always keep those companies out of your hosting options. That is going to do it for this video though. So remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Also, of course, I do have a link in the description to some web hosts I have handpicked for you if you want to check them out and receive special discounts. So go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and of course, I'll see you in the next video.